Toga, Toga, Toga. What's up, man? It's your boy Martin Nash. Another episode of Breaking the Beats. Y'all already know we're going to keep this whole thing rolling, keep the show rolling. Toga, what's next on the docket for today? Uh, let's see what's on the docket right now. Let's, um, you want to do some two up, two down? Absolutely. Let's two up it, man. Two up, two down. Let's do that. At first, right. let's, first, let's explain the segment to him. All right. All right. Two up, two down. This is where we talk about two things that are up that's going on in the world that we've noticed and take, you know, want to shine some light on and two down. Things that like get the boo-hoo, the boo but we're going to let you know what those things are. So, well, who, I mean, who want you want to go first? Two, we really, we ain't doing the two thumbs up. We doing two up, two down because my boy is in Virginia and as you already oh. know, I'm in Atlanta. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay, All so right, let's, man, let's get into it. Two up, two down. All right. The two up I got uh, is, did you see the one with the, the mother got on the teacher for bringing up the George Floyd situation as if he shouldn't have been honored and praised in the way he was? And she just got on the Zoom for the, the, the classroom Zoom and she just snapped off on him. Let's say this. I haven't. Let's say pretend I haven't seen it. I'm about to show it for the fans right now, everybody watching, and we're gonna come back with our commentary, let you know what we think. You ready? Be right back. And which white person did that? Did you ever think about that? Well, actually, huh? that, that... because I don't feel as though, I don't feel as though that this conversation that you're having with our children is a good one, okay? I really don't, because it's 2020, you got racist ass mother that don't care. Okay. And now you're in school. Talking to my kids about George Floyd, that ain't got nothing to do with this. You're having an well, actually, ignorant, disrespectful conversation. He wasn't supposed to be honored. He wasn't supposed to be this. Are you saying this because you're white? I think Let's right like, now. Don't wait for me because now you have mom upset, and I'm speaking to a teacher, nobody else. But I feel as though since we all zooming, you need to see my face, and I can't come to speak to you about this because right now my daughter's leaving your class. And if you would like to speak to me, you have my phone number, you have my email. Well, I would, have, I would have happily spoken to you. And- All right, we are back. Wow. <laughs> mom Deuce went in. Yeah. Two up for mom. Two that's, up, two up. That's my mom, yo. That's how my mom would have did it. Straight up. Straight up. Shout out to Ella Jackson. She would have did the same thing. Straight up. Hey, this is how I feel, yo. I mean, shout out to that mom for holding it down and keeping it real. Like, yo, some people do not know their boundaries. That was like so inappropriate and so opinionated. You cannot put that type of information in kids. It's all opinion. It's all opinion. No, they don't. It doesn't matter how you feel that man. Life should be celebrated or, or praised or whatever. The fact of the matter is the way that man died in the eyes of not just America, but the world saw that. It was dead fucking wrong. Period. Doesn't matter if you like it. It was dead wrong. So good job for that mom for stepping in and putting that teacher in her place. That teacher should not be in the classroom teaching our kids. Because that's partially the problem why we have racism and racism in America. Those little seeds like that is the problem. How about y'all start y'all worry about fixing the textbooks and things like that? And let's tell the real history in America and things like that. Like let's tell the real black people story or how black people really were before we came to this America and all that. How about we fix textbooks and worry about things like that instead of worrying about a black man that got killed in front of, slaughtered in front of America, I mean, in front of the world, and um, you judging whether or not he's important or not. Congrats. Good job, Mom. Good job. Hey, what's, do we know what city and state this was in yet? We know what state this was in? Uh, I'll find it. I'll put, yeah, we'll it, I'll put, it, I'll put it right yeah. here at the bottom. Well, first and, and foremost, you, yeah. Go ahead. No, 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 no. You go ahead. Go ahead. I got a couple quick questions, and this is not going to take that long. Um, what subject are they teaching right here? Is this social studies? Is this like 
what class was this? Like, I, I'm just trying to figure how far off was she? Is this like an English class and we supposed to be writing a paper? Is this social studies and or current event class? But if this is, and even then I still disagree. Right. Because right. this man obviously did something wrong in the eyes of the law. He's been fired and charged with a crime. Hmm. He's been fired. He's been charged. He went to jail. He has a mug shot. What are we saying? Yeah. What are we saying? Now, I said what subject we're teaching because I want to know. Let's say we wasn't in a zone right now. How would a mm. mom have known what happened? Because that still happens even before the quarantine. That was happening. It's just. Right. So what kind of things are you talking about? Is this geography? You in a math class? Talk like what class are you teaching that you feel like you need to bring this up? So um, yeah, uh, it's an open case, ma'am. You can have your personal opinion, but she's low key trying to push her opinion on it on on children or get or or maybe she or maybe she's riling up and planting seeds in the other students, the white students, or triggering mm. the black students. This is why some people act out in school. Like it's a triggering thing right now, Mom. Obviously, I mean, um, Miss uh, Miss Peggy, because you see I'm riding in the street, Miss Peggy. Like you are wilding, you're wilding, you're out of line. And shout out to Mom, because the teacher was like, I, I, she knew she was wrong, yeah, and mom. and Mom checked the other student. He was like, it's not a bill, whatever he said. She was like, I'm talking to the teacher. Ain't, ain't nobody else needs it, right? And, and she said, my daughter's out of right. class. My daughter's getting out this class, whatever it is, or however long is she been in here, Excellent. and it's recorded. I'm getting, I'm getting. This is over with. Like, why yeah. did the teacher feel? What conversation are y'all having in class? Yeah, teach these kids about facts, someone man. who is on camera committing a murder. You must not think it's murder. You think it's something else. You want to, you want to have a debate with kids, Miss Peggy. That's what you want. Get out of here, man. Too down for the teacher. That's that's one. That's one for me. Too down for that teacher. Mm. So, what else you got over there? Uh, let's see. Uh, California. This is a two up. California uh passed the first kind of like law to get the ball rolling. Just get the ball rolling on seeing about getting reparations uh for slavery. Oh really? So, yeah. So right now, who, who said that? Who told you that, man? Who who has said that? That's on um going to CNN.com. CNN. That's a cat. CNN CNN know they ain't doing that. Man, CNN, man, come on, CNN. <laughs> CNN know they ain't about to do that. Man, stop it. You know what? I think that I think that was just the law to, pass, to get the conversation going so we can start the ball rolling. And then possibly once the ball get rolling, you we can get a strike and you know y'all can get something for us raping and killing your family and beating your language and your religion out of you for forever. And talking about you know, slavery was over. <laughs> civil rights in the 60s. We just giving you civil rights in the 60s. Right. That means, hey, okay, I can't burn your house down and burn a cross in your yard no more and come burn your crops up in your building. I got to let you vote without me coming out there with my gun. All right, all right, all right, man, all right, all right, man, God, man. I told them they was going to be free. I ain't say I had to treat them fair. Golly. Oh, uh, man. Niggas. That's what, yeah. they, that's what they thinking, but... That's that's you know, me on that's my opinion on your two up on that one. Go ahead. What you got? But you know what? I think but no, I, I actually I, I, I kind of agree with you. When I when I first read it, I was like, mm, you know, it's it's a nice thought. But it's gonna take a while. The reason why I say it's gonna take a while is because it's too many old people still in power. And, and still in power in government. It's gonna take their generation to die. Our not generation, even, not even just that. We yeah, gotta put uh, term limits on them congressmen and senators. Yeah, they, you should not be in there for 40, 50 years, man. I don't even think those um Supreme Court judges should be in there for that lifetime shit. That shit need to fucking go. Mm. That shit is in the fucking way, too. But and they say they what, do that so the president can't kick them out just because you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. But yeah, man, term limit on some of that too. Yeah, because because just look, some people make bad decisions as they get older. Exactly. 
and we got these people with these same. You got to think about it. Alzheimer's don't just skip you because you a Supreme Court justice. Dementia don't just skip you. How many people just go along to get Ronald Reagan was losing was losing it while he was in office, and they just covered it up. Yep. You can't. And some people, some people are stuck in their ways. You know, they stuck in these old ways. They look at black people, even back. If you can't think about it, in this in the sixties and seventies, most black people was probably you know their their um was probably cleaning houses and stuff. They was you know free, but they're probably just you know getting into the civil rights movement and all this. So still looking at them as niggers and all that because they was when they was babies, they was slaves and shit then. So mm. it's people like that that's still in Washington D.C. making laws. So right. those people need to die off. You know, I'm not saying go there and kill them, but just as time goes by, generation past generation fast. They once gr- our grand, my man, once our grandbabies, they, they grooming their new generation to think and do the same thing. They they, they are that, shot, that dude in, that dude who just shot him up. What's his name? Wooden Wooden House. He won't even. He won't even eighteen. Yeah, I mean, I I know that. I'm just saying, like the the further time goes by, the less the less of that information I feel is is being taught to the kids. You know what I'm saying? And whereas back then, that was a staple of people's household. Like you was being taught to look at niggas as cattle, like you look at a dog being a pet or whatever. You know what I mean? But as time goes on, just like how you see a lot of these marches and stuff and protesting, you see a lot of white people out there too. And the more time goes on, we start seeing, getting people that don't look like us to feel what we feel and look at us like we're human beings too. That's when we're gonna start seeing things happen. Cause I'm not sure, I'm not, I'm not the smartest person in the world, I don't know everything, but I think some people have already Receive reparations before, like didn't it, like Jews receive like reparations and shit? Absolutely. Yeah. So I mean, hey, I, I mean, I'm Chinese, not losing hope. Native yeah. Americans. Yeah, uh, Native Americans. Yeah. Um. So well, a lot, not Chinese. I, I mean, I said Chinese, but a lot of Asian Americans received it because after the uh, attack on Pearl Harbor, uh, you know, Asian Americans were getting just snatched up off the street. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying, but we still getting snatched up off the street. Um, right. But, but with that said, man, um, I definitely agree. We got to take money out of politics. Shout mm-hmm. out to Wolfpack.com. They're talking about that's what they're all about, trying to get a new amendment because it will take a constitutional amendment to get money out of politics. It's going to take an amendment to get uh, senators to have term limits. Or we, as the people, can just vote them out and shame them out. Hey, we're not going to keep voting you in there for 10, 15 years. You cannot be in power this long. And things are this bad still, and tell me you're a master legislator, Nancy Pelosi. We got some weak Democrats, man. Weak. They weak, man. They we. weak. Hey, you know what? I mean, I, I know we gotta get off this subject. Yeah, we gotta... but I think we I think we need to take away um these parties, bro. I've been thinking about that too. Or, just take away the parties. Or add huh? more. Or, or, just, or, more. Just, or just say one man one vote, one man exactly. one vote. Because when you, because the problem is, if you add, keep adding parties, all they're gonna do is say your party is a terrorist organization. If you get too powerful and you're black, mm. Black Panther Party, it happened. Yeah, we've seen it happen in our lifetime. Well, not our lifetime, but in our family's lifetime. Yeah, it was cameras and TVs around them. It was murders. Uh, it was assassinations on, on black leaders heavily in the 60s. Shoot, they even killed their own president in the 60s and keeping that hidden. How's the presidential assassination secret and confidential? What's confidential about a president being assassinated? We need the people. We should know everything about it. We should be able to go to the, the Library of Congress and pull all the files and we should be able to do an independent investigation. But I can look up Pete Rose, uh, his stuff, what happened to him with gambling. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, Michael Jackson been dead. Y'all still talking about everything that y'all showing his room and everything. Fucking penis and every goddamn thing. Come on, man. Oh, I ain't know they did that. <laughs> yeah, but I'm just saying it's uh, rest, a rest in peace, yeah, Mike, man. Yeah, but mm. a presidential assassination shouldn't be hit it, hidden. Um, so definitely two down for the American government. Um, just the way we move with certain things. But I digress, man. What else you got over there? Hey, let's get into this one. Uh. Is this two up, two down? Yeah, yeah. All right, let's go. Let's talk about the uh, 
the cop that killed Breonna Taylor, he set up a um, fund. His family did set up a fund because for his retirement because they said that he can no longer safely work as a you know in that profession, and it's going to be hard for him to support his family. So they set up a. a it's not a GoFundMe, but it's like a, a website that's like a GoFundMe where people can Give me money. Donate com. Money. Is Same that it? Shit. Nah, okay. I just made that up. Okay. Well, yeah, hey, whatever <laughs> it is. But um, <laughs> hey, look, it's the same thing they all do. Hey, I got in some trouble out here in these streets. Um, but hey, if you support white supremacy, you support racism, man, give me five or ten dollars. I know it's enough for y'all out there. Yeah. So right, last time I checked. Um, it was like right um, at like fifty seven thousand dollars, and he's asking for seventy five thousand dollars. So well, he's enough races in America and in the world. He'll get it. And yeah, so. yeah. So um, he would not get a dollar from me. I can show you that. Oh, I'm gonna show you what he get from me. Y'all ready? He gonna get this two down. That's what he gonna get. Yes, sir. Get that two down. Two middle fingers down. <laughs> Fuck so you ain't, fuck you and your cash app and anybody support you. How about that? Yeah. I said that. That was it. me. That was me. Yeah. What else, so, man? All right. <laughs> done with him. Yeah, exactly. Um, last no one. Light. I ain't giving him no light. Amen, amen. Last one, man. Um, just really sad. Um, John Legend and Chrissy Teigen. They um just lost a child. Um, the other day. They was um. You know, right now, we just wanted to send some love to them during this time um, and to anybody else who's ever lost a child. And, you know, it's sad. I know, you know, it's painful. Um, if you or anybody else that's, that's ever been through that, y'all make sure you find somebody to talk to. Um, people that know people like that, give them their space, you know, send their blessings, send their love. Um, there's also a website that you can go out there to, to get some help if you need to. And it's called compassionatefriends.org. That's uh, www.compassionatefriends.org. You can go in there, you uh, type in your zip code, your address, and they'll find you the nearest place where you can get some help for you, your spouse, your boyfriend, or, you know, whatever your situation is, and y'all can go get some help. Um, if not, like I said, talk to family, talk to friends. Um, that, that's got to be tough on them, man. I can't even imagine, man. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, it's truly a unfortunate situation, man. My my heart goes out to uh, John Legend and his wife, and um, it's truly unfortunate. Uh, if you know anybody out there that's been through something like that. Don't always think you got to give them time because um, some people won't be there for you in your darkest hour because they'll say, well, I didn't know what to say. So they think they're just giving you space and giving you time to deal with your grief and your emotion. But really, they might need someone to talk to. That's when you're really going to show, hey, I'm your friend. That's when a friend is really going to be there versus uh, shying away from that moment. And I'm guilty of it myself. You know, I had a friend um, who lost a loved one and I did not go to that funeral. And mm. and this was a man and he meant a lot to me in my life. I meant a lot to him. But um, when we talked about it, because I kind of just it was just something that we hadn't talked about. Then finally, one day he was like, just came out. We were sitting in the car. and He just said it He's like, man, you really, really messed me up that you didn't come to the funeral, blah, blah, blah. And um as he was telling me, when he said, if it was you, I would have been there for you. And um, tears just ran down his face. And um, mm. I'm, I'm trying to keep tears from running down my face because low key, I don't think our relationship has ever been the same since. Oh, man. And um, something you can't never get back, no matter uh, what happens. Um, all I can do is try to be a better friend going forward. Right. And Because exactly. um, you got to be a friend to have friends, right? You got to, you know, so... With that said, man, um, I know what it's like to lose a child, and um, very early on, that, those things like that through a miscarriage and those things, they 
everybody heals differently, you know, but um, try to reach out to that person, um, show them love, show, you know, but if they act like they need space, Give them a little space, but come right back. You know what I'm saying? Let them tell you, hey, man, chill the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? Let yeah. them say it instead of just, hey, man, I'm just living my life. You know, taking pictures, doing, you know, acting great. But with that said, man, thoughts and prayers to that family. And we're going to close that one out, man. It's been hey, love you, bro. Hey, man, I love you too, man. It's been another great episode of Breaking the Beats, where we break down business, entertainment, arts, technology, sports. This segment has been called Two Up. Two Down. All right, peace.